All human suffering surfaces from our desire. All desire surfaces from our thoughts. Transcend your thoughts and you will transcend your desire. Transcend your desire and you will transcend your suffering. Transcendence, chapter one. Transcending physical sensation, the temptation of physical sensation. The sensations and processes of transcendence the flow of the universal life force through our spiritual and physical bodies feels good to our physical senses and there is nothing wrong with this but any biological chemical reaction occurring within the physical body must be respected and balanced on some level if there is no respect of the biological payback principle that is at work at the cellular level there may arise a strong physical, sensual dependency. If we get hooked on the feeling of the divine, and if this feeling is turned into an object of the physical by the early student, then sooner or later this can lead to a sense of suffering on some lesser or greater level. If we desire something, anything, not just the physical but also the spiritual then we can assess that this must be the yearnings of the lower ego and all desire leads to yearning and this is the beginning of sensual suffering these energies creep in slowly we might not even be aware that anything is occurring within us but this is our own fault and it comes down to a lack of self-mastery, a lack of ability in relation to feeling the energies running through our lives. And it also comes down to a weakness of the flesh. On some level, the early student wants to suffer, or on some level, they believe the payoff of the suffering involved is worth the pleasure felt. But again, sensation of any kind which is linked to desire will generate suffering at some point on the journey we want something we desire it and this creates discomfort and when we have the object of our desires this leads to losing it or the fear of losing it and this causes suffering also all suffering exists within the sphere of materialism. Our minds are concept engines if used in reverse and this is how we tend to use our minds. Thoughts are generated and fixated upon and from this desire emerges and this desire causes us to head in the direction of something or other. And these feelings of desire because they spring from the mind must be illusions and so we chase after illusions and the phantoms of the mind state of western living the only way to stop our suffering is to let go of desire and the only way to do this is to let go of the chattering mind the habitual mind that does not know how to rest and would have us energetically chasing after our own tales for eternity. The temptation of physical sensation pulls us back and away from the transcended state. And this goes for materially grounded things tempting us, including carnal desire, as well as an off balance of divine energy within us that gives way to exaggerated sensation and objects of the spirit being created by the mind in order for us to grab onto and own. These objects can be fixated upon in much the same way as desiring physical objects and things. All of these objects are held onto in a desperate and clutching sort of way 
and internal friction and emotional discomfort off balance is generated by this. Focus one. If you can find peace in your breathing, you will then find peace in all things, for breathing is the constant throughout all things. Feelings and emotions are like clouds in a high wind. They are fleeting and transient. The discipline of being conscious of your breathing is like a rock in the uncertainty of life. Sit and become aware of your breathing and do not alter your breathing pattern in any way. Just be aware and stay with it regardless of the situations that you may find yourself and feel the rock beneath you, unshakable, unbreakable. <laughs>